Come on. Uh, come on, baby. Yep, there I am. Cool. Load the live chat. Darn. Now let's also test out this thing called uh, YouTube Gaming. This stupid app that I downloaded. Let's see if it like shows myself here. If not, I don't need this shit. Am I? Collection subscriptions. Nope. So this YouTube gaming app's kind of stupid. Just the YouTube app itself is the best. So I'll just get rid of this stupid thing, I suppose. Let me uh, move it out of the way. Done. Cool. Alright. Um, what's up, Basketball Pro Dominoes, Cheapzilla, Ash? Uh, Chris, you renamed your name. Uh, Alejandro. Um, the logo looks cool. The title looks cool. Uh, what's up, uh, everybody? I never played this game before. As you see right now, I'm running it at 2K. Um, I did some tests. I'm just going to restart the game. I only play like not even a couple checkpoints worth just to test out my uh, graphics card. A 980 tie. Surprisingly, cannot run 4K at ultra settings. This game's from like 07 or some shit. So that's actually pretty disappointing. So if I bump up to 4K, I can't go ultra. I have to bump down the settings a lot. And especially since I use Shadowplay to record to show you guys. Um, I don't want to blow out the graphics card and have the stream kind of skip. So I have it on 2K. Uh, pretty much high everything. It's like the highest everything goes. So, distance is the highest. It runs about 70-ish percent. So, all right. Um, let's just uh, start a new game here. I should really go easy, but whatever. Here we go. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Are you? That's a weird intro. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. This is one weird game. Suddenly, his body was gone. Episode one. I was in shock from the nightmare. Crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Hope your dad heals up, basketball pro. Really, Alejandro? That's stupid. Uh, no. I don't know why people invert camera, it just that blows my mind. Um, can we not have like a blur?
Or do I not have a choice there? I don't want to blur. Hold on. I fucking hate that. I don't know why people... I don't even know what the hell that would be under here. God, rate quality maybe. Yeah, it looks better. Even though I don't, I kind of like because it's part of the aesthetic that you're in a dream, but I mean, it's blurry enough, so who gives a fuck, I guess. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Alright, I'll get to the lighthouse again, damn it. Dope, pro, dope. I still want to explore over here, though. Oh, it looks like you can't. The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Oh shit, I almost died. I already know where to go because I already played through this doing some graphics tests. What's in the dumpster? Was it a heroin crack pipe? But this is my dream. I'm just going to narrate everything. I don't like the sudden stop missing something. There's this crazy ass guy. me do you Ryder? you think you're god do you think you can just Come. make up stuff play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama fuck out of here scary ass motherfucker you missed your deadline this is tough damn See, it's like I go way too early. He's like barely got me, missed me there. You can't stop me. You just gotta keep running after the fact. You can't just. Um... Okay, guys, I think I'm done. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. To die by the hands of your own creation. Yeah, I sure heard about that. Actually, what the fuck is this, like, silhouette? Is that... Maybe this, is it Godry? No. It's really annoying. I wonder if it's part of it. It's just part of it. Damn it. Like, I don't know any of the actions. 
about to say, what the fuck? Follow the light. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. I'm coming, motherfucker. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. This is kind of crazy. your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. I said, where is the motherfucker? Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Now I remember the I remember the flashlight. Insert battery. Say what? What's the take to you? Did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Huh? <laughs> take the gun. That was a headshot, yeah? Motherfucker took five or six Good. shots. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. No, I, I need the, the light. Air, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Fuck this shit. Some scary shit. My god, man. Motherfuckers everywhere, dude. I'm assuming he fell to his death. Can make 
Maybe just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. They probably will make a Barbie of uh, Owen and Claire. I don't see why not. Perfect for little girls that like the movie or whatever. Alright. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get some new shit in here. So I looked it up just now. The original Xbox game was 2010, which I was, I guess, Let's off like we're on by a couple years. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. And uh, this version on PC was uh, shot or made in 2012. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying it. I'm Pat Bain, by the way. Nice to meet you. Press yeah, E to shake his hand. Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Oh, what's Ray, up with his head? I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. What's up, Josh? Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Thanks, bitch. All right, so we're done, honey. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. That was my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll not like want to play. Sure sea level. level. No, Barry, we're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. It's a beautiful so, ass like Pacific Northwest or wherever we're at. Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to Alaska. make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Yeah, good graphics, okay. right? Uh, cheap zone. I'm looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. Good graphics card. <laughs> you know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you, too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Uh, paint jobs? Uh, uh, <laughs> e to leave ferry. We gotta get back in the car. I kind of want to go all the way. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. 
I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. These renders of the cutscenes kind of suck. Thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Mr. Stuckey? Stuckey? Carl? Oh, my God, it's amazing. Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a Rodney. minute. Rodney! Stucky, Stucky, Stucky. I've got all your books. This guy looks like John Turturro. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Hey, Park Ranger. Try the coffee. Do me a Just favor, don't... Sonny. <laughs> I could really use a tune right now. Coconut. Number six in the jukebox. Number six. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Uh, Bad circulation. Number 69. Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Uh, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid. I don't think I've ever done that in now, a video game before. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Not heaven, eh? Who can eat What the fuck are you doing, lady? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it now. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Can't sprint. Some scary shit. Hello? Crazy old man, hello. Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. Yeah, that's not creepy. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Uh... Okay. Crazy. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. I think you should call a priest. Ugh. Crazy You're ass. Lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Fuck this you, ugly ass. And then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> I guess you have to rescue him from dying. Splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn, Hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift it. The, the Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. The sudden stop in international I'll be bus to work. Bye, Mr. Wake. Uh, say ya. <laughs> Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Where the hell are you, bro? That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. I hope they continue okay. the storyline. Okay. Don't give me back to that we can nightmare. Talk about this later. That nightmare's calm. Yeah. Here, I'm 
I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. Yes, I still have the my Xbox darkness. One. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Hold oh, on, this is some insomnia type shit. Some gorgeous ass shit. Are you sure you shit. read the directions right? God it's nothing damn. like in the brochure said near the lake not on it don't get me wrong this is so much better it's wonderful our own private island i'm getting rid of that god thing you can definitely notice it here right uh, it's actually not that i don't know what the fuck that is then uh, whatever Camp Crystal shit? Nah, this, you know, this ain't Michigan, bro. This is the Pacific Northwest for sure. Camp Crystal's Michigan. I know Michigan. Like, it's just the, the trees, a bunch of mountains and shit. Not too many mountains and shit in Michigan. There's hills. I don't know, cutscenes add to a cinematic experience. God, this is some beautiful ass shit. I've said shit like 20 times. But this is gorgeous. Gorgeous stuff. Good job by the game designers. I just want to walk around. I don't give a fuck about playing the game. Can I go swimming, mommy? Old ass cabin. Actually, I don't know. I know I have to go inside, so I just want to explore outside. I bet you, because there's so much shit over here, that you'll probably have to go here somewhere. Look at that water, that's some real looking stuff. Look at that, right there in the middle. Looks real. Middle, top middle, that rock doesn't look that good. The water looks fucking great. Good stuff. All right, let's go. Go explore more. <laughs> I'm assuming I'll have to get in there in a minute. I just want to look around. Good music, too. Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. Thank you, Alejandro. Yeah, Ash, duh. Who hasn't? Ooh, I almost died. Shit, I would live in this cabin as long as it had internet. <laughs> Fuck, I don't care. Eh, as long as my phone had internet, I guess I want to give a shit. Look at that. That looks great. Is PC better than Xbox One? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm pl look at. I'm playing this game from. It was released in 2010 on Xbox 360. And I'm playing it in 2017 on a PC with the best graphics possible. Seven years later. You know, this version was released two years later. But you can't play Alan Wake on an Xbox One, to my knowledge, unless it's backwards compatible. They're doing less and less backwards compatibility as a way to get more money out of you, and it's just horseshit. 
So P that's why I choose PC. Here we go. Ten times Let's out take of a ten. Look inside. Now, why the hell? Does it say pick the lock? It's dark in there. We need light. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? This is some scary good shit. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on a shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? Fucking radio is on. The Deer Fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. A famous artist, no less. Oh, fuck yeah, I'm gonna s s look over here. The water was clear but dark. It looked very deep. Long Beach on a sunset, nice. I've been to Long Beach, been to Monica, Venice. Both are dope. Long Beach would be kind of cool. Yeah, that's some good shit though. West Coast sunsets are the best. You can even go Western Michigan and you can pretty much get a West Coast sunset essentially because it goes over the lake. Okay, usually the shit's in the basement, but. Why do I keep on picking up coffee thermoses? Let's go upstairs. Fucking something's playing and the cabin looked like a time capsule from the sixties, or even earlier. Nineteen seventy? That's what the fuck? That's some weird shit's gonna happen in this place. Nothing here is important. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. What the fuck? Oh yeah, cheap Zill. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. The hell is that? Nah, pro I visit there quite often. I kinda call it my adopted home. That's a view. Now I was totally I was reading the uh, the chat, I missed what he said. But yeah, answer your question about the Resident Evil thing. Uh, I have not seen those CG movies. But they're probably better than the fucking movies from the theaters. Yeah, that shit's gotta be outside or something. It's gotta be an alternate boy. Like... This is there's nothing this way at all. The power cable goes to that shed over there. There you go. Of course. Not be able to open. There's no door. 
fuck is the door? Good God. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Look at this ratty ass thing, man. I'd still live here, as long as that was all like stainless steel. I think this is a very Silent Hill game, huh? I already uh, said something cheap, so I thought it was, you know, yeah, it's good. You know. <laughs> Burp. Uh, I can't get in that way. So, let's see my woman. Some shit's about to go down. Alice? Honey? She disappeared. Well, she died or something. Oh, you better have a surprise. Whoa. Well, hello there. Hello. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. A typewriter. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past... Damn, Alice, you... Everyone hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Damn it. Yeah, dog. Alice? Run to your wife. The cabin had gone dark. All the lights were Actually, out. I kind of want to see where the fuck I am. Right now. I guess we'll be exploring that later. Oh my god! Alice, I'm coming! I have a child it's all right. for a I'm wife. Coming. What the fuck? Alice! No, no! If you're Usain Bolt, you're in the already a old ass. Hey, boy. Alice? Alice? Oh, no. <gasps> That's a pipe swimming underwater. Keep going. from one nightmare and entered another. What the hell? I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. 
Man, this fucking game is weird. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. It looks like, uh, one of my friend's dads. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Uh, basketball pro, I usually get my thoughts at the end when I'm done about an hour-ish or an hour and a half-ish. Damn. But so far, yeah, that's pretty, uh, pretty cool. Hello? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Oh, lovely. I don't think I can press the F5 button, because I have my F5 tied. Maybe not, maybe it worked, I don't know. I have my F5, my F keys, uh... Anybody oh, there? my God. Please! I've been in an accident! Tied to uh, volume and all that kind of sh media shortcuts, essentially. Skip, play, pause, you know. That's sort of holy shit. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Yep, we gotta find some crazy ass Shadow Man, some Slender Man. Water looks amazing. Uh, I do not, basketball pro. I'm sorry. What the hell happened there? Actually, I guess it makes sense to. There's nowhere else really to go, and there's a light on it, so. You look at, do you like it not? Uh. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an Ooh. accident. Oh my gosh, you gotta do some shit where you gotta. Hey. Okay, good. Hey, you. Phil. There's been an accident. I need help. Deposit. Listen, I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Non refundable reservation. Deposit required. Fair and square. Okay. Oh, I did he kill that guy? Yeah, the guy looks dead for show. Fucking maze. Can't see a goddamn thing. Let's try that. No, no, F5 is completely done. I had 
had to figure a way out of this. Weird. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Oh, they already did that. I've never seen, at least in a while, product placement in a video game. Pick up your Energizer batteries. These aren't Duracells, these Very aren't dollar stores. Trying. It's the latest thing. In. Test yes. Right of all sheriff station. Oh, man. Hello? 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 You can see the sights and keep them going. Is that the bulldozer had gone over the cliff with the office? I <laughs> hope Stucky had suffered the same fate, but I wasn't planning on staying to find out. Well, where the fuck do I go? Like, there's no way down. I go to this one. No. If I can just go back, I guess, somehow. Alright, uh, it's just electricity or whatever. Oh, okay, cool. Outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone or something. There were no bodies, they just disappeared. I was Fucking dreaming, Christ. It felt real enough to make me sick. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. season really what's up gamer actually I want to kind of explore okay I guess I can't explore whatever ah! fucking Christ Scary shit. Okay. What the hell was that? When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water.
I don't even know, like, where to go. Should I just hop in? I mean, I guess I have to go that way. That's a good way to die. destination is there. I don't see... Ooh, hold on. How the fuck I got over there? I think I jumped to here to go to there, to go to there, to get up there somehow. I think that's where I need to go. I don't think I'm gonna make that if I jump that. Fuck it. I saw the river below. Something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Hmm. You can't get on that right side. No. Huh. Shoot him. new Stucky was still out there in the dark stalking me Oh, well, going the right way I suppose I guess I just went the wrong direction previously That's my life Christ. Cause it's dark in my room, it'll be able to see me, so I don't do the face cam.
The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Should I just shoot him or should I touch something? There's a waste of a fucking bullet. You don't have to do that at all. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. So... Find a generator, turn the power, some kind of log, and... With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Motherfucker can't climb. Lame ass. This game's sure a pain in the ass, ain't it? Can't climb dick. I guess shit all hard for no fucking reason and shit. Hey, uh, of Suckers. What the fuck? I. Ugh. Did you not re reload the weapon? Why the fuck would you stand still reloading the weapon if you can't. Ugh, fucking stupid. God damn, stupid ass shit. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Wasn't there shit over here too? Or no? Already got that.
do is go left or right. I'm assuming that the uh just go to the middle, I guess. I don't know. Right. This motherfucker is gonna show up. Just because it's pitch black. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. No shotgun. Step outside for a spell and breathe in. Is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Flare gun. Okay. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking some Oh, sir. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Shit, get me out of here. Fuck that, man. What the hell? Get the fuck out of here. I heal myself. I forget.
Okay, so... Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I want. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein. Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, A Quantum Suicide. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. I say I don't even know what the game's about. <laughs> Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here hey, fuck this shit. at the Moorcock Institute. Motherfuckers are gonna come all over the place, I know it. Shift, goddammit. Fuck this game. Dude, I, you can't do shit, man. Uh, just go to the goddamn. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights at the gas station alive.
Oh man, I made it. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. How was that noise? After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. The garage was a mess. It looked right. like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some outside, kind of fight. Darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the store, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her, I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. Okay. Oh, I see. You're still saying me to fucking read the deer quest. Right ball, sheriff station. Andy, you played this before? I never played it before. Oh shit. Back up finally. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are. I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. This would be a good uh, way to, you know, get an Xbox. Previously on Alan Wake. Holy shit, it's like a fucking TV show. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Bitch, already know. New York City three years ago. Hey, why not? Once it goes to the nightmare shit, I'm gonna end it. <laughs> uh. It doesn't look like Alan Wake there. Probably gonna look weird. This is a crazy soundtrack, that's for sure. Honey, I'm home. Yes, yeah, so I'd like to see here, apartments. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. But I say, what the hell? It'll warm you up. I, I already know. On. I already know where to go. Thanks. I'll need it. Textures right there don't look that good. Tomorrow. Yeah, boy, some nice bookcases, boy. I need some fucking bookcases. I need to sell the shit I have and get some new ones. Hopefully it won't cost much. Cancel out the costs. Some nice ass shit. Oh hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. Yeah, that no computer kidding. screen is as big as mine. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh really? 
Well, you seem to think so last night. The camera's so weird. It's the only problem I really have with this game. Because, like, he's at, like, two-thirds. And there's no fucking cursor, so you kind of have to, like, assume. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. This I'm right here. Oh, man, this I'm on it, is... honey. Please hurry. Uh... Fuse box in the bathroom. I really don't like this, Alan. Please hurry. Oh, shut your bitch ass up. Pussy ass motherfucker. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine, I'm fine. Just get the lights back on. Now, please. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just, it just really spooked me. Don't worry, we'll just break yeah, up the case. Yeah, I'm enjoying this shit too. I know it's stupid, but it's just, especially when I'm not prepared. It's for really it, you know? stupid. It gets. To I don't me. know why I married you. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The <laughs> clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Yeah, this game's mm, pretty scary, I guess. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. <laughs> in the area. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy. What Wait. the hell's up with this oh, lady? We'll need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. I'll come back later on. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the brake float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. James out. That's all exposition you need. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on, um, well, other things these days. Random ass shit to read, man. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. I feel like she should be saying Mr. Wick is in John Wick. My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? 
I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Yeah, I don't know about this the voice actor, but overall the experience me. is pretty good. I need to take this. It's a dead guy. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. What? Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. Mr. White, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. I couldn't go anywhere yet. I had to play along with the caller. Alice's life was at stake. He's one of our regulars. Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. They won't understand. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. So what the, the fuck? caller told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. I've played Metal Gear Solid. I've been worried. Uh, I'm one or two, three, here, and right four. Now. Barry, listen to me. I haven't beaten him. the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Well, what's the point of having this ladder thing? Uh, whatever, I guess. Just to go back the way I came. Looks like, yes. Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about Twin Peaks. No, of course not. That's but I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh! Hey! Oh, come on! Take it easy! It kind of sounds like the guy on the phone. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. Not much longer, bro. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. 
I thought they were gonna lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, <laughs> but when he Resident heard about Evil the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. Never played that the game. plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like That's it, Al. I don't shit like too. any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. Uh, whoa. There you go, dinosaur fans. Yo, check his fucking cabin out, though. Big ass glass. Read what? Cool. Park's official mascot. These are toilets. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice. Do you and everything's understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Right, wait here. Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Wait here. Uh, TKO. Um, sometimes, sometimes not. What was that? Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. I'll play this until it gets dark. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Oh, and hey, if you take a walk in the woods, watch your step so you don't end up like Max. I guess I'm a little worried. We got a bunch of campers out there we haven't heard from. Try to pull a joke it's on like me. Freak me out. It's worth it. Traps. Ha -ha, well, you know, let's have a laugh on I just Valley. don't want any trouble. Right. Thanks. Look, Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. 
Ow, come on! I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Uh -huh. I go all the way back. Come on, son. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, <gasps> Barry. <gasps> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> Just be careful right. with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist. Or it'll be deliverance all over again. I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Watching the door now. I don't know what license plate that's trying to be. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done. very but I was still <laughs> repetitive. Angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Okay. The piss, okay? That's somebody's cabin. Oh. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your deer fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seen to manage. Ha ha ha, fuck off. The way it was on that page. I found. Came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights. In the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. 
I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Man. I need to go back outdoors then. This is dog Shh, thing, get it? Good boy. I've been soddy. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. <laughs> he said, oh, hell no. You know, when you're stocking up, that some shit is gonna happen. Motherfuckers. That was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. sized hole in the wall. Please don't feed the animals. This fucking dog is gone. Dicks. Fishing is only permitted in Port Rogers. Who purchase a park? License to obey. I fucking hate the dodge and this. Oh my god. I press fucking. You hear me clicking the goddamn shift button? You hear that? Click, 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 click. That fucking. You can. Mechanical keyboard. You can hear that shit. Next checkpoint. Game. Over for the night. Stupid ass. about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it.
Harbor's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. I guess I want to see this, uh... There's going to be some enemies here, but... Right up ahead of things, gonna be some people like, come on. Right here, right when I reach this, bam. Nope, not yet. Shotgun's useless as fuck, dude. Oh my god. If you have a shotgun, first right there, point blank range, she should be fucking down. That's bullshit. Fucking kidding me. Third guy just kind of disappeared on his own. Screwed. I can't get out of here. Let's see if he fled. How can you add a 
Fucking damn it. Uh, dude, fuck off, dude. game man fuck man yeah I'm dead um uh, let me try this last checkpoint wow they, they, they let me save the ammo how nice of them I duck, but whatever, fuck off. I'm gonna die, fuck this game. Alright, I'm out. Fuck this game. Um, it's overall pretty good. But I'm pretty much screwed at this checkpoint. Not enough ammo. Which is bullshit. Um, so I might just like replay that whole segment. So, yep, uh, that was a good run. How long was today's? Today's live stream was the longest we've ever had, I think. No, I think Batman was pretty long. That was an hour 48 ish. Wow. Cool. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching. Um, the like tennis people, and then ten people went on and off type of deal. So uh, <gasps> appreciate it. Maybe one tomorrow night. Maybe Splinter Cell. I have this. I have the Splinter Cell games uh, left to play. So yeah, those are like four or five games. Four, four games maybe have to play. And then, uh, Steam sale. It's going on right now. Summer sale. Um. I haven't bought any games, and I probably won't because I don't have money. So, uh, probably just play the Splinter Cells and then move on to my uh, last toy review I'm working on. It's a, just a skit, actually. And then uh, the movie stuff. So, uh, thanks, guys. Uh, maybe tomorrow night for a Splinter Cell. Peace!